Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Monday, November the 14th. It's week six of the Psalm cycle, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 89, verse 20 to 38. Matthew chapter 17, verse 1 to 13. And a canticle from the book of Judith, chapter 16, verses 1 and 2, and 13 through 16. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Of old you spoke in a vision to your friends, the prophets. Alleluia. Psalm 89. Of old you spoke in a vision to your friends, the prophets, you said. I have set a crown on a warrior. I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found David my servant, and with my holy oil anointed him. And my hand shall always be with him, and my arm shall make him strong. The enemy shall never outwit him, nor the evil ones oppress him. I will beat down his foes before him and smite those who hate him. My truth and my love shall be with him. By my name his might shall be exalted. I will stretch out his hand to the sea, and his right hand as far as the river. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock who saves me, and I will make him my firstborn, the highest of the rulers of the earth. I will keep my love for him always, with him my covenant shall last. I will establish his dynasty forever and make his throne endure as the heavens. If his children forsake my law and refuse to walk as I decree, and if ever they violate my statutes, refusing to keep my commands, then I will punish their offenses with the rod. Then I will scourge them on account of their guilt. But I will never take back my love. My truth will never fail. I will never violate my covenant nor go back on the word I have spoken. Once for all I have sworn by my holiness, I will never lie to David. His dynasty shall last forever. In my sight his throne is like the sun. Like the moon it shall endure forever, like a faithful witness in the sky. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. <clears throat> of old you spoke in a vision to your friends, the prophets. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 17, beginning at verse 1. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up high a mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzlingly white. And suddenly they appeared to them Moses and Elijah, talking with him. And then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. And while he was still speaking, suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them. And from the, voice, from the cloud a voice said, This is my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. And when the disciples heard this, they fell to the ground and were overcome by fear. But Jesus came, touching them saying, Get up and do not be afraid. And when they looked up, they saw no one except Jesus himself alone. And as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them, Tell no one about the vision until after the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. And the disciples asked him, Why then do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He replied, Elijah is indeed coming and will restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah has already come, and they did not recognize him. But they did to him whatever they pleased. So also the Son of Man is about to suffer 
at their hands. And then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them about John the Baptist. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Francis and St. Clair and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Begin a new song to my God with tambourines. Alleluia. A canticle from Judith. Begin a song to my God with tambourines. Sing to my sovereign with cymbals. Raise to God a new psalm, exalt God, and call upon God's name. For you, Most High, are a God who crushes wars, who sets up camp among your people. You delivered me from the hands of my pursuers. I sing to you a new song. You are great and glorious, wonderful in strength, invincible. Let all your creatures serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You set forth your spirit and formed them. There are none that can resist your voice. For the mountains shall be shaken to their foundations with the waters. Before your glance the rocks shall melt like wax. But to those who fear you, you show mercy. For every sacrifice is a small thing, and the fact of all whole burnt offerings to you is a very little thing. But whoever fears you is great forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as of the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Begin a new song to my God with tambourines. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.